Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to suit up. Do you know what that means, Setsuna? Yeah, I know. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and in today's anime duel, we're pitting two of Gundam's most deadly pilots against each other. Hiro Yui, freedom fighter of the colonies, against Setsuna F. Seye, Gundam Meister for Celestial Being. Commencing armed intervention. Bexia will eliminate targets. For this video, we're looking at one thing. Who would win if these two Gundam pilots went head to head? We're not looking at their status as anime icons or the quality of their respective series. This showdown is about brains, determination, and their skill with the Gundam mobile suits at their disposal. Setsuna, I want to shoot you so very badly right now. So, who's ready to see who would be the victor between these men of few words? Five rounds, winner takes all, let's get to it. These combat abilities are extremely high. It's amazing. Round one, experience. <laughs> A one-on-one -on -one fight between two ace pilots is the best way to show just how much they've been through and how much experience they've accumulated. Now I just have to get to the target point to carry out my mission. When it comes to Hero, we actually don't know much about his past prior to becoming a Gundam pilot. What little we do know is featured in the episode Zero manga, where we see him attacking an alliance base in conjunction with his guardian, Odin Lo. Still, from what we gleam in his Gundam career, Hero is capable of infiltrating bases and using guerrilla-style tactics to bring down enemies from within, and with a bang. Setsuna, however, grew up as a child soldier in the war-torn Middle East. Being forced to kill without mercy and survive in such a hellish environment built Setsuna into the pilot he becomes when he joins Celestial Being. I wonder if Setsuna is doing all right out there. Well, if he isn't, then that spells the end of Celestial Being, doesn't it? Memories repressed but never buried serve as a secret fuel for Setsuna as he enters combat in his Gundam. So, while he and Hiro both have combat history that started when they were young, Setsuna takes this category solely on the fact that we know and see more about his past and are aware of what it has made him into. Winner, Setsuna. <laughs> Round 2, Strength and Endurance. Continue recording his data. In truth, if this duel were based on this round alone, this fight could go for a very long time with neither giving way, and might even end in a tie. Hero is almost superhuman in his strength and can endure the most extreme of conditions. And although he has over 200 bruises and broken bones, his only visible injuries are the shot wounds. Of course, he brings the same endurance to his piloting. He can mow down legions of mobile suits without even breaking a sweat and go on fighting battles for hours if needed. Setsuna is very much the same way. For someone so tiny, he's freakishly strong, and with this strength, can pull off moves with his Gundam that seem superhuman in and of themselves. However, much like round one, we know what Setsuna has gone through to get to this point. To survive such hardships as a child soldier and continue to fight takes a strong heart. If pushed, and we mean really pushed, we think Setsuna could give Hiro a run for his money and eventually wear him down. Back to back wins for Setsuna. Round three, allies. No need to worry yet. We have the people and resources we need. And the Gundams are almost repaired. Both Setsuna and Hiro tend to be loners when it comes to how they conduct their business. But even they need friends from time to time. For Setsuna, those allies are his fellow Gundam Meisters of Celestial Being. Each has their own specially powered and unique skill set Gundam. Lock on Stratos has sniping expertise with Gundam Dynamis. Alleluia excels in high-speed combat with Gundam Kyrios, and Tieria with his Gundam Virtue has a giant beam cannon. Together, these four can make a pretty solid team. I have to admit, I never thought the day would come when I'd be fighting side-by-side -side in formation with you. Hero doesn't lack for friends either, however. He has his four other Freedom Fighter pilots. Duo Maxwell with the Gundam Death Scythe, Troa Barton with the Gundam Heavy Arms, Quattro Winner and the Sandrock Gundam, and Wufei Chang with the Shen Long Gundam. While the Gundams of Celestial Being look new and shiny, Hero does have a one-man advantage in terms of reinforcements. That one extra ally could mean the difference between victory and defeat. Plus, his ally has one of the coolest Gundams ever. We love you, Death Scythe. Let's move in for the kill. Winner, Hero. You're in over your head. <gasps> Round four, versatility. 
Roger that mission. I'll return right now to shoot down the Oz Carrier. Things are always changing on the battlefield. Unforeseen obstacles, reinforcements, surprise disasters, you name it and a Gundam pilot needs to be ready for it. Hero pretty much has the mind of a supercomputer. Even without the Zero system, he can comprehend battlefield data at an insane rate. Hmm, this'll destroy it for sure. He already plans things way out in advance, taking the time to study as many variables to any given scenario. If anything goes wrong, Hero has Plan B through Plan Z, or, excuse me, through Plan Zeta, all ready to go. The most recent version of mobile suits. Many of the parts are still being designed. I'll go destroy them. Setsuna, while not a master planner, definitely has the capacity to adapt and change his battle plan on the fly. You're mistaken! However, he tends to rely more on the power of his Gundam than his own mind. He is a fighter first and foremost, and would rather see the battle finished as quickly as possible, while he still has control over the situation. It's hard to imagine that Hiro wouldn't be ready for whatever Setsuna could throw at him. Mission complete. Ugh. And Hiro's ability to gather data and come up with last minute solutions is just an area that Setsuna can't compete in. Winner, Hiro. <laughs> One more to go. Round five, weapons, powers, and equipment. Mission. Accepted. We are tied up going into the final round. Only one way to settle this, the Gundams themselves. Hero's choice of mecha are all about superior firepower and mobility. Both the Wing Gundam and Wing Gundam Zero are equipped with transformable fighter modes for fast transportation. In terms of firepower, the Buster Rifle is capable of blowing apart entire squadrons, or even colonies for that matter. Factor in a mind-enhancing Zero system inside Wing Zero, and you've got a lethal fighting machine. Setsuna's Exia is a slice and dice machine, but the Double O Racer and Double O Quanta have been tuned specifically to Setsuna's abilities as an innovator. We have to change! Both enable Setsuna to reach out to all other pilots on the battlefield through their minds and emotions, seeking a peaceful solution. And when that fails, they're also outfitted with powerful beam weapons, including skyscraper-sized beam sabers that can cut through just about anything, and powerful shields that can block even blasts from battleships. These are meant to be the Gundam's end to all wars, and we can't really argue with that. Setsuna's Gundam are on a whole other level, though. Setsuna takes the win, and the battle here and now. Winner, Setsuna. It's too fast! There you have it, folks. In a battle of experience, versatility, and the power of a Gundam, Setsuna takes victory home with a 3-2 score. Guess he wasn't kidding when he said he's a Gundam himself. What was that? I am a Gundam. What are you talking about? Do you agree with this outcome? How do you think Hero could overcome Setsuna's battle prowess? For more awesome videos published every day, accept your mission to subscribe to Watch Mojo. Don't you know? This is our Gundam!